Yes, you, you remember, the artery is brown. You remember she got chest pain. Bull grass, the grease caused the chest pain. You gonna give her something for the grease to go home, but you need to give her something so the artery don't stay brown. And what drug is that? Nitroglycerin. Ha uh, ha, any question? And it's pretty. Because yesterday, I didn't tell you nitroglycerin who from Bula. I told you nitroglycerin is a vasodilator. Ah, look at this artery. It's closed. Why is it closed? Because glass is sitting on it. So I'm going to give you Lipitor to remove the bull glass. I got that. But I need something to clean the artery, and it is called. So, teaching from yesterday, I give the nitroglycerin. What I'm going to check? Blood pressure and heart rate. You see that? P.O., where are you going to give it? Sublingual. Patch anywhere, but you got to make sure you what? Check, right? Any question? Now, teaching of the disease now. What are you going to teach me? Diet. Diet. Exercise. The disease. That because I have glass. Diet. Change your diet. Now, which food? Where did I teach you the food? Fundamental nutrition. Give me the food. Bacon? No. No. Bacon has fat. So give me good food. Baked chicken. Food with fiber. Fish. You see how med search go? So I taught you. So I taught you the disease. The blood test. The cholesterol. The machine test, the medication, the nursing intervention for the disease. That is med surge. Any question? How pretty it is. Nice. You got it? Any question? Who don't understand? And cardio, you see what I just did? You got to do that for all the disease. You got to do it for med search cardio, med search respiratory, med search multi-skeletal, med search neuro. Baby, if you don't do that, I guarantee you ain't going to pass no damn test. I'm sorry, what it is. That word too often. Praise God, prove me wrong. But you guys do prove me wrong. Though. Any question? Yes, ma'am. The cardio CAD? Yes. What, what was your question? It was the risk factor. The risk factor for um, cardio um, culinary disease. Yes. And then so I, I chose fat, but they had like smoking. That's right. Good smoking. You get CAD problem with what they call a messed up lifestyle. Not working now. So, guys, you cannot say all fat people got problems. I know a lot of healthy fat people. A lot of people think because you um, eating all sorts, sometimes fat good for you. It's, I'm, I'm telling you, yes, it's not good, but you cannot say to my life, this is just war. Or black people. You got that? That was your NCLEX question. Let me show you where your NCLEX question were, was. Um, 680. She said risk factors. Um, it's there. Um, symptoms occur, huh? The goal of treatment, no, it should have the risk factors. 683? 683C. No, no, that's, that's, no. 
But shh, what you can do is, since they don't, get, but yes, it's obese, obesity in it, hypertension, people who have hypertension. It says, um, 681, number 7, at the end, says provide community resources to the client regarding exercise, smoking, reduction. What, where, where are you reading? Number 7. Yeah, provide community resources to the client regarding exercise, smoking, reduction, stress, bomili. There you go. Risk factors. What stress too. Like, I came this morning with all that damn stress. I'm sweating. That too. I can go home with CAB. Yeah. My students. Okay. Any question? You see, the lady said she volunteered, said, because y'all say I talk a lot. She said she went to Inclex. They asked her a question on CAD. Bam. They go. So you are responsible to read all C. A D and box fifty dash five. Okay. Well, pacemaker. When I do pacemaker, all right. Any question with C A D? Okay, pretty, right? Okay. Now we going into angina. So you go like this, Kawan. Let's study over the phone. We did CAD. <coughs> Kawal, did you say machine test? Kawal, did you do blood test? Uh-uh, Kawal, you missing something. Don't let Kawal go to angina until Kawal can tell you what is the disease, what is the blood test, what is the machine test. Yes, what medication, what intervention. Uh-uh, Kawal, uh-uh, we're not going to angina. Let's go back to CAD. Any question? Now, let's go to angina, which is chest pain. Dule. Now, angina, chest pain, there's two types. Well, it's really three, but we like to focus on the two, the main one. You have stable and unstable. Let's go stable. So let me go on the board and so you guys able to see it. Nice. So we have angina, right? You have stable and unstable. Now, angina is chest pain. Caused by what? It can be clot or what? Something, some type of obstruction, but we don't know what. Now, in China, since it's an obstruction, we don't know what. The patients say chest pain. So they hold their chest like this. Then you ask the patient, is this chest pain? Radiating to the shoulder or the arm? That's question two. So the patients say, this chest pain is radiating to the shoulder. So automatically, you know it's angina. Now, there is stable and there is unstable. Stable mean the patient know they have history of chest pain, they want to mow the lawn, or your fast shit got into an argument, chest pain coming out. They're going to take inclex, chest pain. So what do you give the patient? Nitroglycerin. You say, okay, rest, O2, nitro. So inclex start asking you <coughs> questions on this nitro. Where do you put it, if it's IV, and so forth, right? Which we talked about yesterday. Now, or in, now I need the machine test. What machine test? What's the first machine test we're going to use? EKG. EKG. Okay. What would the EKG show? ST, the breast. We could. 
Now, I'm going to do a blood test. I'm going to do two blood tests because the patient has chest pain and I want to know what cause. So I'm going to do cardiac enzyme, right? To rule out what? MI. To rule out MI. You kind of rule out MI because ST will be what? Depressed. 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 But they will do this anyway, especially if the person got good insurance, they'll do it. <laughs> North Broward. Now, they will also do cholesterol. Why? Because we don't know if it's a grease or a clot. Again, you know why we're doing the CE? Say, Papa, skip. They want to rule out. They want to know that this is not so bad, right? So they will do CEs, they will do EKG, they will do cholesterol. Now, blood tests. I cannot give that lady Lipitor or Coumadin until I see what causes the chest pain. So I'm going to do what? Cardiac calf. The cardiac calf going to tell me, see, bullsum or bullless. So we're going to do cardiac calf. Cardiac cat come back, and it show that there is some kind of what? Clot. And that's why we give the nitro. Any question? So, angina, the stable one, Miss Sonia told you, what is the disease? Miss Sonia told you, what is Blood test, machine test, right? Now, let's, Miss Sonia told you the EKG. Before we go to the medication, let's see sign and symptom of angina in the box. Yes. If the person is allergic to dye, they will do, see, the dye for the cardiac cat is to make the picture look more beautiful, the heart. If you are allergic, I'm still going to do it, but it may not be all that clear, but I'm still going to do it. Or the doctor will order other things. X-ray, echocardiogram, we'll talk about those. Okay? But he would, he, guys, the dye is just who fed care. Dr. Akaway PBN. Okay? Now, so let's go to angina. Sign and symptom. Develop slowly or quickly. I'm in the box. I'm in the box. Sign and symptom. Usually describe mild or moderate pain. Substernal crushing, squeezing pain may radiate shoulders, jaw, neck, and back, but not arm. Usually lasts five minutes, however, can last up to 15 to 20 seconds and relieved by nitroglycerin and rest. So when the patients tell you, I have angina, but it's not relieved, that patient does not have angina. They have what? All right. Any question with angina? Okay? So, yes. You said um, not, not for the, not the arm, and we get to the shoulder. No, only shoulder, neck, back. No arm. They did not say arm. Shoulder. Kote uwe arm na. Okay, I want you to put, keep arm, keep, I don't care, keep arm, but I want you to put where it says arm, long as you don't see left arm. Yeah, long as you don't see left arm, because left arm, that's the indicator of MI, left arm. So, okay, put arm, shoulder, back, 
but look for that less. Okay? Any question? We good? Okay. New ball. Now let's go into unstable. Now, this you expected. Stay with me. This you do not expect. That means you sit in watching CNN. Hell, watching CNN, you may get this. <laughs> Why? But you sit in, calm. And that's when you get it. So are they the same? No. no. Key, which one is worse? <laughs> now, so you you still gonna do EKG. ST, listen, will still be depressed. You will give one nitroglycerin, wait five minutes. Another one, wait five minutes. I'll move another one, wait five minutes. And you know you gotta do vitals. Yes. And it should go away. If it does not go away, it is now called M I. Any question? Yes. With the unstable, have the history of chest pain before? No. The stable, you have history of chest pain. Okay. The unstable, you never had it. No. Listen, let me say something. She asked a very important question. You, you said unstable or stable? Unstable. Unstable. Normally the patient by whole class history of heart problem. Stable, do, the doctor know your history. You got it? Unstable, you just woke up. That's what make this so bad. Any question? These questions, y'all never give them wrong on the NCLEX. If they give it to you straight like this, you clue. Soon as they ask you which one you will question, say Lyo Brano. So you gotta read the book to see the all better plan. Don't just go listen to take what I said. You gotta go read all angina. Stable, unstable. You gotta read the whole section. Yes, Sandra. Keep who said Miss Sonia? Oh, yes. Yes. That the or No, it depends. It depends. Normally, if you are at home, they will give you the nitroglycerin to go home with. PO. But if the patient is in a medical emergency, Nitroglycerin is given IV. Yes. And my question is, um, when, when, when is the time that you, you're giving the nitro every five minutes? So when is the time that to take the blood pressure? Ubali, give it, give it, give it a second. You give it, give it a second to work. Well, just give it about two minutes. Take the BP, right? Now, and wait five minutes after that. So give, because you give it, it's supposed to work, actually they tell you right away. Because remember, you're giving it under the tongue. So it dissolves right away into the mucous membrane. So things start happening. So you give it, it dissolves, you can check the BP, and then, but you gotta wait five minutes before you give the, the other one. Okay, and right three, now, LPN, this is how you lose your license. When the EMT guy come, the first thing he asks you, when was the last time you gave the last nitro? And you don't know. Because under stress, guys, you, that's very important. He's going to ask you two things when he comes. Where was the pain radiating, and when was the last time you gave the nitro? LPN meaning LPN because you have these patients. 
that's very, very important because if you tell him the last time you give the nitro, he's going to decide should he give one BO or should he give one IV push. Any question? You got it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Hold on. For the uh, unstable, you say like you give one um, nitro and would possibly give another one. Then if it doesn't work, that's when they have them on. No, I so said give I three. Yeah, you give three, but if it And if it's not, because it's supposed to relieve. Uh, if it's not relieved, it's a medical emergency. Oh, I think you said it's understood that it's MI, but the patient has to go to hospital so we can diagnose it. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Look. When you got, there's two. Stable and unstable. Stable, right? You remember the pain radiate to the shoulder? That's not MI because when you gave the nitroglycerin, the pain dissolved. Unstable. When you gave the three nitroglycerin, the pain did not dissolve. That means the tissue is not red no more. That means the tissue is black. That is what we call MI. But I thought you already ruled it out. No. Unsepul. I got that, but when you get the nitroglycerin, doula didn't go away. You understand? Yes, if the doula went away, if it went away, the cardiac test, the diagnostic test, the patient never made it to MI because the doula went away. But if the pain does not go away, it is understood the patient going to MI. Yes. The stable is in rest. No, the unstable is resting. Is you resting? You get it. Stable meaning it's understood. You got a history of it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Question over here. It says if it's unwilling by rest or nitroglycerin, it's unwilling by Shh. Boom. Give me that again. It says if it's unwilled by West or I mean the unstable one. If it's unwilled by West or that's MI. That's MI. That's MI. That's not unstable. MI. MI. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Any question? We cool? See. What she's saying, I want you to understand that. Say law be medical man be la pari. Say lie na MI. Mba kye sa diagnostic test yo di no. Say le ou fin be medical man patient still do. Ngen do le et puis kon y a main move now left arm. Et puis patient can be comme ça. Now no na MI. The cardiac cat is not to rule out MI. The cardiac enzyme rule out MI. The cardiac cat give you a picture for where it's he said less or bull. You got it? Cardiac cat, A, ooh. We, before I say you have this, I need to prove. Mais when sang emble photo. Cardiac cat, pas rule out on yen. Cardiac cat, dit docteur, son man yen, c'est boule glace ou boule sang. That's it. C'est sang qu'a dit si t'es glace ou... Yes, if it's MI, if it's MI, the cardiac enzyme tell you if the tissue is dead. Because if the tissue is dead, Mouri, am I noir? There is a garbage that will be released in the blood, and that is called lactic acid. When you see the lactic acid that released in the blood, that 
tells the doctor the tissue is dead and now that is M I, not cardiac cath. Did I clear that? Yes. Any question? Yeah. You good? Yes, Sonia. In case it shows this, they will show that the same thing has um, the clock. No. She got a good question. Let me rephrase that in English. What she asked, well, she said it in English, but let me try to rephrase it so you can understand. What she says, if they find is grease, <laughs> will they treat it as clot? If I have a clot, I cannot give you less medication. I know what you're asking. That's, I know what she's asking, and I'm going to get there. We're going to give you anti-lipid for the glass. We're going to give you anti-coagulant for the bull. However, the tissue is dead. we still going to give both nitroglycerin. That is your question. Yes, thank you. There you go. What she's asking, what are we going to give to fix the tissue? Both. Because you're going to see when I do MI, angina get nitroglycerin. And I get nitroglycerin because either you have bull sun or bull grass, we cannot leave this here. We got to clean it, and that is the job of nitro to open the artery. Good question, right? I knew exactly what she was getting into. Any question? We go? Yes. I got a phone of mine. Anytime she has a period, but she got a pain on the right shoulder. On her period when she had her menses, that don't have nothing to do with her. She might have thyroid problems. Hypothyroid. Okay. Any question? We go? Cool? Now, I think I, that was a pretty question. That was deep, deep. Okay, now we go to MI. MI, so look, I'm not going to use the red marker. So I want you to help me with what you know. Now we're going to go MI. Look, look. Black, dead. Okay, put your thinking cap on. So let me, can I erase this? Okay. Oh, monsieur. I need this. Yeah, I got to be. But I don't, but I got to. Right? I got to try to, because students like to see stuff. Okay, so now you got MI. True? A. Now, it's black. So that means no blood flow. Am I? Myocardial infarction. No blood flow. I cannot wait till y'all test results today, boy. I'm going to have a picnic on this one. Especially yours, Ernest. Ooh. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. All right, so let's go A, B, C, D. Okay, so look. Watch this. Come on. This is serious. No blood flow. None. None. At all. None. Now. Okay. Am I? So let's go to the little box first. Where? Let's go to the box. And I'm going to show you where in Glex question. You would never believe it. Ready? Am I occur well in the morning? Milly. You know that? Guys, you know what happened at night? Big stuff or little stuff? Little stuff like what? Depression. Let me tell you, you see somebody want to kill themselves, they're going to do it late at night. 
Something ain't right. That's why they kill you. Kill themselves. Or kill the lady. Kill the man. Just chop, chop. Chop him up. Just, right? Night. Mental things happen at night. Big disease in my morning. All right, guys, that's an NCLEX question, right? Circle that, right? Crushing substernal pain. Miss Sonia, what that mean? Ooh, it feel like a bus on my chest. Or the women. I keep having acid. Hey, women, acid. And you keep going to Walgreens and buy Tums. It can either be ovarian cancer or heart attack. See, that's why I say a prayer every day dealing with y'all. Ooh. Right? May radiate to the jaw, back, mommy, where left arm no? Okay. And last longer. What did y'all know about angina? It lasts 15 to 20 minutes and go with Saba go away, man. Right here. So you see that? So it happened in the morning. It's more painful, right? If it's women, gas. I see. Right? Continuing. Unrelieve. Why? Where mommy? Unrelieve. With rest and nitroglycerin. Now, all right, keep that on the opiate. Circle that. Now, first of all, so Miss Sonia, so now I told you no blood flow. Why? What can cause it? What are the risk factors? Let's go. Am I? Right? Risk factors. Arthrochlorosis. CAD. Elevated cholesterol. What? Smoking, hypertension, obesity, physical inactivity, diabetes. Y'all know that, right? <clears throat> Stress, you see that? Mm -hmm. Now, stay with me. Machine test, cardiac cat, true? Mm -hmm. When you go see, when, you, when the doctor does the cardiac cat, what is he going to see? The tissue is dead. Good job. Blood test. I'm going to do the cardiac enzyme. The cardiac enzyme is blood test. There's three series. Type. Troponin. Myoglobin. CKMB. Troponin. Myoglobin, CKMB. Boy, all these tests, what does the, the blood test mean, Miss Sonia? Let's go with the troponin. The reason the troponin is the best of the best of the best of the best because it tells us how long the lady or the male lost oxygen to this area. And troponin lasts longer. Two weeks. Bon troponin, bon two weeks. You can see <coughs> that Kawan has lost oxygen to that area of the heart. The other one, CKMB, they will go up but go down. Any question? And troponin come in small numbers, 0 0.001, right? Point, point zero 0.01, point zero 0.02. Now, there's a troponin 1 and 2. It depends on your insurance, baby. That's, it have not, it's up to the cardiologist. See if they order on troponin 1 or troponin 2. Any question? A. Troponin doesn't say you have MI. Troponin says how long this individual lost oxygen to that area of the heart. And we know if you lose oxygen to an area of a heart for a long time, that is what is called MI. 
Once you have a mind, you have it for life. Miss Sonia, what did you say? Let me tell you. I go to Haiti on vacation and I get hospitalized. As soon as they do an EKG for me, it will show a permanent cue. That tells them that I am an old and my patient. That tells them at some time of my life, I lost oxygen to that area of the heart. Once you had an MI, you will always be characterized as an old MI patient. Any question? Because of that permanent cue that is on your EKG script. Any question? <coughs> now, so Ms. Sonia told you myocardial infarction, the individual lost the oxygen to that part of the heart. Right? Now, I told you the risk factors. Right away, car one will be tachycardia, hypotension. Tachycardia, because they're not getting blood, hypotension. Now, when I'm tachycardia, hypotension, it's because the body is not getting enough blood. And I can start to clot up. Clot up. So, we're going to give this patient a series of drugs. Now, and the abbreviation is called MONA. Now, which one is first, which one is second, which one is third, which one is fourth? Let's talk. Okay? Is the problem the boom, the clock, or you want to stop the heart from working as much. You want to stop the heart from working so much. That is why you give MI patient morphine. The job of the morphine is to slow down the heart, which will slow down the pain. You see that? Which will then slow down respiration. Another word, we call it me patient. So we always give mona and morphine first. Doctor, doctor, give morphine first. As the nurse, if you walk in the room and the patient has MI, chest pain radiating to the left arm, the nurse, what can you do? Sit the patient down. Oxygen. The nurse. Now, in class, ask you which medication you going to always give first. The morphine. Medication. You don't write no damn medication. The doctor do. Nurse, give oxygen. Nerves give rest. After you do that, rest, oxygen, don't then give morphine. Right? Then you give nitroglycerin for what? Why? To, to dilate the artery. Then you give the aspirin for what? To make the blood flow. And then you're going to teach the patient diet. Exercise. Can the patient go on Viagra? No. no. Can the patient have sex? No. After, after they've been through rehab and they can climb the flight of stairs, then they can have sex. Any question? You see how pretty? Yes. Nice. Ain't nice. No stress. Now, if NCLEX asks you a diet, Right there, you ain't gonna say med surge cardio. You gonna say fundamental nutrition. You need something with low cholesterol, low salt. If NCLEX asks you how you gonna position the patient, talk. 
How would you go position them? Semi follow to high follow because due to the bull, they may have problem with what? Respiratory problem. Any question Inclex asks you, you got it on lock. Right or wrong? Who don't understand nothing I said in here? But they Monday, you know you're crazy. We don't understand nothing. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You in the hospital? Yes. You not extend the order. I know. Uh, O2 is a. You have one order to give you. Oh, it's medication. Oh. Shh. Don't be. Oh. Let me fix it. I got shh. guys. You got a question. The school taught you O2 is an order which they're right. As a RN, because that's who's gonna deal with this patient, the RN, anytime the patient is in cardio distress as a RN, there's a few things you're gonna do. Rest, O2, and you gonna do the EKG, and the doctor will come give the order. You got the move, baby. We don't got time. We gonna wait for the morphine. Because we cannot just go in the pixies and get our own morphine, but you're going to do rest, oxygen, EKT, EKG, stat. You cannot get fired for giving an EKG and giving the patient some oxygen. Hospital? No, aspirin. You said, um, medical. Because they want your aspirin now. No, <laughs> <laughs> you remember, medication, medication, medication. You got to wait. Listen, what I want you guys to know, this is a medication, this is a medication, this is a medication. If NCLEX asks you which medication you're going to give first, that's all I want you to know. Any questions? Okay. All right. No, let me do. No, I'll, we'll stop here. Bye bye. We'll stop here. Any question? Hey, hold on. New students, because we have.